guys, it's Kendall and I am back for my fourth Vogue Beauty Secrets video. <laughs> I am so ready for this, you have no idea. This is about to be the best glam look you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> Can't even take myself seriously when I say it. I have my ginger tea with fresh ginger chunks in it. I started with these little gold eye patches just cause I needed to wake myself up a little. I'm gonna take these off and we're gonna start. I usually start with a little gua sha, 100% virgin coconut oil face oil. And I love it because it's thick and it, the gua sha just slides. So the reason I do it before I wash my face is because I'm using a lot of heavy oils and to make sure all the oils come off of my face, I cleanse after. So right when I wake up in the morning before I do anything, this is what I do. I saw a video online of a very seemingly very pro gua sha woman and she said, do this before you wash your face. So that's why I do it. And then I'll spray a little of my rose water over top so I get a nice glide. My gua sha is sitting in a little cup of ice right now so that it's nice and cold. I'll start by putting it on my eyes because it heats up really fast from my body. I wish I was more consistent because I think I'd see probably better results that way, but I have been consistent in the last week. Don't judge me. I don't have the most skill when it comes to this, but here I go. <laughs> well, there's a whole like lymphatic system situation that happens that I don't know a lot about, but I do know when you do your jaw, you have to kind of let it drain down the side of your neck. I mean, I'm probably being nitpicky, but I feel like my brows can get really uneven. So the way I wash my brows is probably not traditional, but I go really up on this one because I feel like it needs a little lift. It kind of falls into my eye and it's a shorter eyebrow by like the tiniest amount. So it doesn't get as much arch. So like already it's already arching better. Whereas this one has a more natural arch. And then this one, I kind of come out to the side. <laughs> To give it a little bit of a straighter vibe to try and match them together. What's the saying? Sisters, not twins. So now I'll wash my face to get all the oil off my face. I use this Jan Marini face cleanser in the morning. They tell you on the back of the bottle to apply this to a dry face. So that's what I always kind of do. I wet my fingertips a little and I do like a quarter size amount. I am super, super anal about washing my face because I am acne prone. Had acne my whole childhood, some of my adult life. So I am super on top of my routine. I'm about to choose violence on my hair right now because I'm on my period and this is not working. I'm obsessed with this Kylie Cosmetics lip butter and I swear it's not because she's my sister. Like this is really nice. So good for you, girl. It is so silky and smooth and really does its thing. I'm going to use this La Mer face cream. And my skin journey has been up and down. I obviously have my good days and my bad days like everyone does, but I feel like I'm in a good place right now. I get like hormonal acne sometimes. I'll get like little breakouts when I'm around my period and stuff like that. So my last skincare product that I'm going to use today before I start my makeup is the Alta MD sunscreen. I love this. I've been using it for years and sunscreen is super important. I always try and keep my face out of the sun. I'm really big on like hats and stuff these days, especially as I'm getting older and just learning more about protecting your skin. So it's big for me. I love serums. I do PRP with microneedling and I really love that for my scarring. I think it has anti-aging qualities, properties, I'm not really sure, but I really like it. I think it makes my skin feel really healthy. I'm gonna do just a little face spray to refresh. Today, I am going to do something super different from what I've done before. No, I think I'm gonna do my natural, normal, glowy skin. I'll probably do kind of like a cute, bronzy brown eye. And then I think I'm gonna top it off with a red lip. I'm excited, it's spring, summer's coming. I am gonna use this Chanel foundation. Sometimes I actually do feel like applying it with my fingers makes it look a little bit thinner and like almost more natural on my skin. Again, these are all things that 
I can't prove. I just, this is what I feel and this is how I do it. Using makeup to like enhance your natural beauty is I think the best way to go about it. I've always preferred a very natural look on not only myself, but everybody else. Next, I am going to do concealer. This one is so nice. It's the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Concealer. Just do a little dot here, a little dot here. When I'm normally doing my makeup, I'm definitely listening to a little music. It really depends on the day, what I'm feeling, but most of the time it's like either some Janae or like Jasmine Sullivan. What if I slay today? Kind of base skin is for the most part done. I'm gonna do my contour. I still use this. This is from me and Kylie's collection. I just really like the deepness of the color. I apply it potentially really weird. I just brush a little bit of it onto the brush and then I go in. I should talk to Kylie about bringing it back because I, I really love it. I just think it's super easy to use. It goes on really well and the color's really nice. I'm gonna top it off with more cream bronzer. I really like this Charlotte Tilbury one. I like this one especially for like my nose contour and my eyes and just kind of, again, the natural glowiness. I love contour, I love blush, so the more the merrier. Okay, now I'm gonna take the small end of this brush and just kind of do my eyes a little. I am so excited for summer, you guys. My whole Instagram like feed is just like the beach and bikinis and people living their best lives. Like I'm so ready for a bikini and some tequila and like friendship. I am now going to dive into my cream blush. I love these little Kylie ones and I'm really into this like kind of poppier, bruisey pink. I don't know what you would call this. I kind of just tap it in and then I tap it on my face and it's gonna look crazy for a second. It's gonna look crazy for a second and then we're gonna make it look good. But like, why is the blush is so fun? I used to like not wear blush at all. There's something about feeling alive that I just love. The last creamy touch I'd say is this L'Oreal Paris Lumi Glotion. I'm gonna brush my brows out with this Anastasia brow pencil. Tried and true. This is a really good brow pencil. I've been through a little bit of a brow journey, just working in the industry that I work in. I feel like they've bleached them, they've been tortured. I obviously clean them up every so often, but I used to like, when I was younger, like, you know, trim them to make them really precise. And I don't do that anymore. I kind of just let them live and let them fly. All I really do with the brow pencil is just add a little here on the ends, because this one's slightly shorter than the other one. Next, I'm going to do a little bit of powder. So I just use this nice pressed powder, and I just put a little here. I think my first like real modeling job with like a bigger company was for Forever 21. And I remember being so shy and nervous. Just wanted to do a good job. My advice for anybody trying to get into the modeling world, have a really good relationship with yourself. I think that it can be cutthroat. You can't take things too personally. So I think that just making sure you're like kind to yourself and that you have a really good relationship with your self-worth and your beauty. Because there's mean people and we need to be nice to ourselves. So I'm using this NARS bronzer. We're going on to the eye, my least skilled part. So I always keep it really simple. I'm gonna use this eyeshadow palette. I like to stay in this world. I just feel like the tones really work well for me. I don't love a shimmery eye on me, so I stay away from that. But I just keep it fun. 
fuck. I'm not a professional, you guys. I'm gonna make it work though. We're gonna find our way home. We're gonna land this plane. Like it's gonna, it's gonna happen. I am just taking a little bit of a darker color that I used and putting it on the bottom. I landed the plane, you guys. I had a minor panic attack, but it's gonna be okay. So let's curl. This is one of my favorites. It is the L'Oreal Paris Panorama Mascara. I'm obsessed. Final touch. I need to decide, I need to make a decision. Like I'm seeing this trend of kind of like this undone red lip, kind of like French girl vibes. I'm gonna try it and see if I'm into it. Let's see how this goes. So I applied some, now I'm just gonna take my finger and almost like smudge it in a little. I'm into this like no liner, kind of like smudged out red lip moment. I saw this on TikTok and success. Is this my new vibe? That is it. This is my spring French girl makeup look, I guess. I love it and I'm really into this new lip vibe. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I guess I'll see you in another four years.